everybody. Welcome back. I'm Ashley. This is Martin Midlife Misadventures, and today I'm going to take you to our other pantry, our off-site pantry. Never keep all your ducks in one spot, okay, guys? You like my hat? It's cold out there, so I'll see you when we get there. Okay, everybody. Here we are at pantry number two, the off-site pantry, and let me just get you in there. If we go over here, you can see these are just a few jars of some things I've dehydrated. I actually have uh, my dehydrate somewhere else. This was just kind of overflow. We've got some uh, shredded chicken and some uh, mixed vegetables, some potatoes, peas, uh, tomatoes. I'll show you the rest after we get done with this pantry. Okay, we've got some canned asparagus, a few cases here of corn. Underneath it is a couple cases of beans. Up in here we have some coconut and some shells and cheese, some ramen. There's one little can of sweet sue and some macaroni and cheese. Let me back up here. This is some gelatin. Um... Here's some more meat proteins, some corned beef, one little can of Sloppy Joe, lots of chicken, some tomato sauces, um, coffees. Let me back up here, and you can see the big cans up there. Corn, beans, some Augustine Farms back here. Um, if we move the coffee, you'll see. We have some more of these in another place as well, but we've got some scrambled eggs, and more milk, we've got some tomato powder, more milk, just lots of it. We've got some strawberries, um, some more pancake mix. This is actually some masa and some cornmeal. I told you I've been dry canning a lot of my flowers and stuff, and this is how I've been doing it. Um, if you want to know how to do it, just let me know and I can show you. More condiments, can never have too many condiments. This isn't my sweet baby Ray's, but it'll do if we need it. Back here, some big old drink mixes. Like I said, we got a big crew. This is just add water, and you've got a, a big old gallon of stuff to drink. Same here. This is a giant, giant thing of peppered gravy. Um, let me take you to the next shelf. Down here, there's some more ramen, and that goes very deep. Um, macaroni, more beans, some popcorn. Let's move that back. Back in here is more salt. You can see it goes three back and two or three deep. This is some of those little pastas I showed you. These were only like 34 cents. So just over a dollar I was able to get three and I got a bunch, a bunch. Let me show you this product. This, I actually bought this in California. This is a textured protein. It's just made from soy flour. They just make a paste and they dehydrate it. You can add this to any of your meals that call for ground beef and it'll stretch it. It's like adding crackers or anything to something, but it's kind of better. It has more protein to it, so I have a lot of those. Back there, we've got big old gallons of waffle syrup and creamer, a gallon of pepper, some more uh, vinegar. This is three gallons of oil. Um, let's go down here. Down here, these go two back, so there's two, four, there's actually four in the back and two in the front, and this is just um, beans flour and rice. We have some more buckets in another location and then we have some more sugar, more rice, a few cleaning products down yonder. So you get the idea. Hey everybody we're gonna start right here. This is the area above my stove. See there's my stove hood. Um, this is just more of my stuff. I've got some cornmeal and masa and split peas. These are jalapenos, peas and carrots, some citrus. If we go over here, 
You'll see I've got some canned beans here. I bought these cans when, or jars when I couldn't find uh, mason jars, and they're they're airtight. I threw an oxygen absorber in there. I think we're good to go on those beans. Down here are many more. I've got lots of tomatoes, lots of canned tomatoes. This is Montreal chicken. You don't even have to rehydrate this. Amy likes to eat it just right out of the can. It is so good. I hope that's focusing okay. I've been um, canning anything I can. I've got my coconuts. All these little cans back here are a bunch of everything. Corn asparagus, onions. I've got back here, I've got artichokes. Amy loves artichokes, so I dehydrated some artichokes. Um, let's see what else. Oh, there's one fall over there. I'll have to get it. Corn, chocolate chips, cocoa powder. These are both jalapenos. I've got big old jars of California blend back there. If we go down here, I've got some yellow split peas, some russet potatoes, some red onions, more citrus. Um, these are potatoes O'Brien. This is corn, not popcorn. This is kernel corn. More potatoes. More California blends back there. And here I have some ground beef. This is ground beef. This is wonderful. But let me tell you, if you're going to dehydrate ground beef, you need to get the oil out. Once you've browned it, rinse it with water, then dehydrate it. It, it dehydrates like that. I mean, fast. And it it's so good. Um... More of that California blend. Can you tell that I like uh, I like it? And this one, oh, it is so good. This one has, this might be the Normandy. I see a, uh, some squash in there, but it's, it's big. This is, this is fabulous. Back here, I've got some canned pinto beans, some flour, some sugar. Down, 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 down. I've got a few very large jars of pasta back there. These, are, these aren't these are dehydrated foods. These are my canisters that have my sugar, banking mix, and flour in them. This is dehydrated cheese powder that I'll never, ever, ever do again. It was a nightmare. So we have bought big blocks of cheese and we got some wax. We're going to wax our cheese. I'll let you know when we do that. Now, we also have dehydrated things and put them in our food saver bags. This is just an example. I did this on 620. Um, two and a half pounds of taco turkey. Look at that. And we flattened them out and put them in big, long storage bins. Here's an Italian turkey. This one's super flat. We have them in bins underneath our bed. These are some mushrooms, some mushrooms. We have stuff like this. These are mushrooms that I'm using now. I don't put everything in, in uh, containers. If I know I'm going to use them right away, I like to keep some out and get good practice at using them. So there's some broccoli, <laughs> some onions. These are some sauteed onions that have been vacuum sealed. This is just an example. This is Amy's oatmeal that I keep filled for her. Um, I just want you to know there's alternative. We also have things in Mylar bags. Okay, everybody, what did you think of that second pantry? You know, I just, I really want to be clear on that. I, I feel like if you have a way to keep some supplies off your property, I really think it's a good idea to do so. Better safe than sorry, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that old saying, if you have one, you have none. If you have two, you have one. <sighs> Something like that. Anyway, can you see the lake back there? It's a beautiful day. I know it's so sunny, but it's so cold. Can you hear my voice? I'm freezing cold. 
but it's so beautiful. If you have any questions, if you have anything to add, if you have any advice, we welcome it all. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. And be good to everyone, your families, your neighbors, just everyone you come in contact. Love them, okay? God bless you all, and we'll be talking to you soon.